Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. All right, perfect. We're going to fire it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. You're from Fort Saskatchewan. Where? No, you're from Alberta. You're tough. Come on. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the all-new episode of Exploring Fort Saskatchewan for June 20th, 2017. Summer is right around the corner. I'm Curtis Dominic. As always, I'm here with the mayor of our gorgeous city, Fort Saskatchewan. Mayor Catcher, how are you today? I'm excellent. You know, it's it's so wonderful. The weather has turned uh, beautiful in, in this part of the region. And we have some exciting information to share with you. So with that, let's talk about the elephant in the room that we unveiled last week. You know, that big canopy. It was gorgeous. You it was know? gorgeous. I know. And everybody I don't know was how, waiting. To, to, to kind of go off subject, I don't know how anybody could be upset with that because that's such a beautiful piece of art that showcases hist an historic moment of people getting off the train coming from faraway lands and settling here in Canada to become Canadians and to create what we see around us. How, I, like I lose, I kind of, my mind kind of goes, what? If it was a statue of some abstract thing, I could see people going, well, what the hell is this? But it's such a beautiful piece of art and show it, it showcases our history. It really does. And you know, so many people that were there they were saying it's beautiful. Uh, it was the fact that, you know what, that could be their grandparent or their great yeah. grandparent who had just got off the train. That, that that little boy or little girl, that could be their 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 grandparent as well. So we had it really well received by everybody who came out. And it's really gonna showcase, you know what, when you come to Fort Saskatchewan, the historic precinct is really about our beginning. Yes. And uh, you know, Thursday was just a fantastic day in Fort Saskatchewan. So we unveiled that. And then immediately from there, uh, well, of course, we went over to the citizenship ceremony. But right in between there, we had the farmer's market. And oh my God, Fort Saskatchewan has one of the best farmer's market around. It's gotten bigger. I, I, it's gotten noticeably bigger because I remember going a few years ago and it was sporadic with the vendors and there would be a few and it was the same. Now, I hope that it stays the same way that it did this past Thursday because it was packed and starting to overflow on the sides now and that was amazing to see a lot of different vendors. You got a different variety and it wasn't just vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. It was vegetables, wines, fruits, uh, cotton candy, popcorn, German sausages, uh, the dog groom. Like it was, it's everything. And that's kind of the small community getting together to show its wares and to show what we have and here it is available to you. Yes. I think it's beautiful. I think it is too. But your vegetables, Curtis, come on, they're the most important. So I bet you if I ask Catherine, she probably says, yeah, Curtis doesn't like vegetables. He likes- I like potatoes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they're a form of vegetables. <laughs> Ketchup. Yeah, but it is fantastic. We, we had the Pottery Guild, uh, uh, ladies from the Pottery Guild doing, you know, and they got their beautiful crafts that are there. You know, I bought a couple uh, hair pieces, you know, that I'm gonna wear for Canada Canada Day or add to my uh, add to my costume for Canada Day but the farmers market in Fort Saskatchewan it brings people together and you can tell that that people were ready for it they were just waiting for it and when that horn sounds at 4 30 it's like they can't shop fast enough it's like so. the opening bell on uh, Wall Street just yeah. ring that bell and now everybody's just kind of ready to go and it's you know these are just things we love about Fort Saskatchewan you know um, Following the farmer's market, though, uh, throughout the summer, our Rotary Club, they, they host what's called Concerts in the Park. And we had, we talked about it before, we had the Icelandic uh, band. Uh, now, they had to go home early, so they actually moved their concert from Thursday to, it was Monday, I believe it was, that we had, okay. we had them. So we had them in the park, but each Thursday there is going to be a concert in the park. So I understand one of them that's coming up is going to be a whole bunch of games and activities, followed by a comedian. And, uh, Thank you. 
you know so so bring your bring your family out bring your friends out these are really great ways to see a lot of our uh, entertainment yeah. at its best and it's raw entertainment so you got to just love it that's it and uh, I know that uh, we've been to a couple and you, they put on a good show they like to entertain it's it's here for the the crowd it's here for your family it, it's that night out that doesn't cost you anything i know really. And, and we talk about that all the time. You know, there's so much free things to do in Fort Saskatchewan, and they're family friendly, and that's what I love. You know, uh, my, my grandson goes to Glenn's Music, and uh, he's learning to play the guitar. Uh -oh. So I'm waiting for his first concert, and I took him down to the uh, West River's Edge to Erin Got Music. She had her concert on the weekend, and uh, he's sitting there watching these little girls, and they're strumming, and I go, Can you do that? And he goes, not quite, you know, and but he's watching her, and it, it's so cute because you've got all these children who are watching other children, and they're just aspiring to, you know, to learn, and that's, you know, we love that, you know. There's so many opportunities in our community, but you know, getting back to so we had the statue unveiling that's in our heritage center, the farmers market that happens, concert in the park, but you know what? Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is going to do another little step forward. So Curtis has said to me, you know what, we, we talk about these all the time, but what is it that you want to tell me that we're going to add to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan? Well, what I'm going to do, and again, this is for the love of the city. This is, this is I love the city and I want, uh, I want a place to showcase the city. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, I did this this past Thursday, I still have to edit and put it out, but this Thursday coming up, if you see me, if you see me and my wife, or you're not going to be able to miss the beard. This is like <laughs> Fort Saskatchewan right here, the beard. If you see me and you see me talking to somebody and the camera's rolling, you know, stop by, say hi, say whatever, I'll give you a hint, German sausages. That's, that's who's going to be next on this. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to people in advance to get them lined up. We're going to ask some questions. And it's going to be, why did you pick Fort Saskatchewan's Farmer's Market? Because these people have great, uh, I always want to say wares, but great sausages. They could go anywhere. They chose to come here because they're probably local. They want to show it off, and we appreciate it. I know I've already bought their sausages. I think they're already eaten, so it's just... No vegetables, just sauce. No! Well, they're <laughs> potatoes. You can put some potatoes there. That's fine. But that's what we're doing. And it's going to be every week. You'll be able to see it. It's probably going to come out either that Thursday night or Friday, depending on how much I have to edit it. Uh, the editing is what takes the longest. But I want to give this back to the city. The city's been good to me. And I just want to showcase our uh, vendors at our local farmer's market. And if you want to be showcased, you've got a thing, contact me. I'll try and put the email down here as I do this with the lovely hand gesture now. Oh, oh there it is. There right there. Yeah. There it is. There you go. Contact me and uh, you know what? We'll talk and I'd love to have you on the show and uh, you tell us why you chose and why you love the city and uh, I think and it's a great little bonus. It is and you know that's what I love about exploring Fort Saskatchewan. You know it, it's about really getting out there and showcasing our community as to A why you love living here, B why you should live here, or C why you should come and visit here. Plus on top of that you can actually see and hear what's going on. It, there's actual this thing, you can just use it on your phone, and you can see the video, and oh my God, the video's got words. That's incredible. That's, that is That's incredible. technology right there, baby. You know, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, I love it. Sorry, no. I had to say that, but it's true though. We're taking videos, high quality professional videos, and I'm doing this out of love for the city. That's it, everything I do, especially when it comes to this for Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. This is out of love and it's just, you know, who else to do Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with than the Mayor of Fort Saskatchewan who, I know you're extremely busy, but you find that little, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get us in. I've said it before, I wanna say it again. I, I thank you so much and I appreciate what you're doing to showcase our city and how great it is and to come here to visit or to live it's an amazing city. And I thank you for continuing to do, do this. You know, we're, we're almost at a year. We're almost at a year. It's very exciting. We've talked about so many events, people, places, things. Uh, you know, it's just incredible. And the audience is growing. And why yeah. wouldn't your audience grow? Because it's talking about community. 
and it's about being community focused and that's what I love about this. So you know what, reach out, uh, go back, see some of the past editions if you want. Some of them are, are uh, audio you know. Audio only, but that's okay. We, we've jumped. We, we went from audio only to video to high definition, high quality, professional grade video and that's where we are right now. I know. But I hate it because you can see every hair and there's like one gray hair you can oh, see here. No. Okay. It just drives me yeah. nuts. Okay, now we're sitting up. So. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We just can't we can't talk this in like Anyway, hey. I'd like to say thank you for joining us as we continue to explore our beautiful city of Fort Saskatchewan. And thank you once again, Curtis. You got a ring. Look at the size of that ring. How dare she? <laughs> Did you just see that? Oh my God. All right. He Thank loves you. me very much. <laughs> Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital.